Sylvie and welcome to this episode of the Performance Cafe. So I have such an interesting topic to share with you today and it's around feedback and I mean feedback is so contentious to start off with. You know should we give feedback? How should we give feedback? Should we do a feedback sandwich? Shouldn't we? And I think the thing is that it's it's so well known to be a difficult and challenging situation having to give feedback specifically difficult feedback so you know much hand wringing goes into the choosing of the right words how do you get the right tone um, how do you avoid adding more tension to the situation and so i think you know a lot of planning goes into this and I think that, you know, that's appropriate. When we're about to give someone uh, feedback, especially critical feedback, it's important that we set that conversation up for success. And, and I think we've been taught the right thing that we have this, you know, this, this energy around it, this intensity around it. And I know that, you know, when you've done it, there's this big sense of relief of, whoo, it's done. Even if it wasn't, you know, even if it didn't go as planned or it wasn't wonderful, just the fact that the message is now out there, there's, there's sometimes just relief around that. So today I want to take a step further than just looking at the focus that's placed on shaping the message for the recipient. Um, and as I said before, there's nothing wrong with that. We've got to make sure that we get our message across. Communication is only communication when it's sent and received, not just when it's sent. So what about you as the goff, the giver of feedback? It's almost a got, like Game of Thrones joke. Get it? Goff, got, never mind. Anyway, so when we are the giver of that feedback, I think it's important for us to overlook our part and our, our input on how this is going to go. We're so busy focusing on how do I design this for the person who's sitting in front of me that I really ever, or that we really ever um, really hone in on where am I in this? So there are a couple of things I think we can do about this. So firstly, I think the first thing is to sit down and write down what you think has happened or what you think about what has happened and try and isolate facts not what you and others believe to be the truth, but the actual facts that you can ascertain. But then I want you to ask yourself, what do I feel about what has happened? Because here's the thing, we're so busy focusing on the person that's receiving the feedback that I think sometimes we cut off ourselves, especially when we're still sort of of the ilk where we are like, oh, you know, um, I don't want to come across as the baddie or, you know, um, I don't want to be all angry or whatever the case may be. I think there's place to be honest about that. And so writing down what you feel about what's happened or what the feedback is that you have to give, I think it helps you clarify your message. But then I also want to ask you to think about why you feel what you feel. And in psychology, we often speak of triggers and in coaching, we often speak of triggers. And I want you to ask yourself, what about the situation triggers me? And then from that, from those triggers, understand how those triggers work with your own issues. So I think what I'm saying here is that Part of preparing for giving someone feedback is also understanding what are your issues that you are bringing into this conversation. And I know it's easy to get defensive and go, oh, well, I expect this person to do work because I paid them for it, or whatever the case may be. And that's that's okay. That's all right. That's one point of view. The other is, is that if you understand your own triggers, you are better ma able to manage the conversation with that person and in understanding your own issues, you can make a good decision on whether this is an issue that really that person needs to work on, or is it just a trigger and something that you need to work on. And I think also in, in working through this, then when you do go into a difficult situation, if things do escalate in the feedback session, then you are in the spot where you understand which triggers could be hit 
and you're already prepared to deal with them because you've already thought of them. And I think that would, that and some good intention probably would take some of this thing out of giving critical feedback. So yes, that's my mes message for today, short and sweet. I hope that you have a great week. Uh, it's a bit chills on this side, but I hope that you enjoy our video this week. So if you enjoyed this episode, as always, please, uh, I think it's down there somewhere on the page, please click on the subscribe button and then also click on this notification bell so you know when our next video is available. If you are joining us from LinkedIn or from Facebook, lovely to have you here. And uh, we look forward to seeing your comments and your forwards and your shares and your likes. And uh, I'll see you then on Friday. Thank you.